So, welcome back to World of Tanks, everybody. Let's get to it. So, as you can see, we've got a match on Tundra. I'm in my tier 7 M41 Walker Bulldog, one of only two tier 7s in this game, so we're very much bottom tier. But scout's a scout, it just means more XP. And we have a fairly decent game, or at least I do for me. So let's speed up to something Captain shall we? Actually no, let's let's look at this beautiful tank. So I don't have this fully upgraded still. I don't have the autoloader. I don't have the stock gun. So it's not quite as good as it could be. And, as you see, we only had a 38% chance to win this game. But, we're going to give it a go, we're going to give it a go. So, I decided to head over to the hill, because what better thing for a scout to do than head to the hill? Let this go. So yeah, in this game I was not planning to do much damage at all, I was basically going to just try and do all the spotting for our team. And so here we are. Luckily, <laughs> skip over there, those E50Ms got there really quick. But now I'm sort of spotted. Luckily there's no artillery in this game, so I don't have to worry about that. And there we go, we just start putting side shots at him. I see the Type 59 looking at me, so I pull back. And the T-125 is looking at me, so I pull back, but I can see he's now looking at someone else, so I pull forward. Ah, oh, there's an E-50M. Oh, he didn't get me. So I'm just trying to put in sneaky side shots here, keep them distracted. Because there's quite a lot of them here. And I see the E-50M's looking at me again. But I still decide to look like I pop out, see if I can get sneaky shots into their cupolas. So T-34. I take a quick snapshot as I pull back. I not interested in getting hit right now so I feel a bit locked down at the moment if we look behind us we can see most of our team didn't actually make it up the ridge I go to this side of the rock to see if I can get sneaky shots into their tracks get some assistance damage but our T-34-2 has just about had it and well that's not brilliant so I look to see if I can get sneaky shots into their tracks I'm like please come forward please come forward it's all about the assistance damage I can try and get in this game, so I don't think I'll be able to do my own. T125 gets tracked by somebody else, so I decide to try and keep him tracked. You never know. Might help, but okay, he gets taken out. And I get smacked by two. I don't know who hit me there, but I get I get hit for quite a bit. I see the E50M still looking up at me and so is the T-34. But they both seem to look away, so I decide to dart out and get some shots in. Unfortunately, the T-125 got in the way there. So as you can see, we've only done 300 damage so far, but now we just uh, try to feast. I decide to switch fire to the T-125, so obviously he's a higher tier, and so I'd get more XP for damaging him pull back in case the T-34 is trying to get me. And finally, we get pushed through. Luckily, if we pause it here, some of the other tanks, like one of the E-50M, actually both of the E-50Ms I do believe, decided to disengage from here and sweep around. So luckily, we didn't get attacked by those guys as well. But, thank God for small mercies. So at the moment, We've only done 733 damage. We did a bit of spotting for all the guys, but, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm having a great game. But, it's not bad. I'm still alive, you know, tier 7. Obviously, yeah, I'm, I could get farted on and die, but let's see how the rest of the match goes. So I'm thinking of playing really safely now. I'm just seeing if I can get, you know, sneaky shots into people. I don't even know why I fire here. I'm trying to fire into the back of a E100 turret with a tier 7, it's, it's not going to go very well. 
I'm going to see a Centurion 7 1. I know they have pretty squishy hull armor. So I'll find him. I'll try and pull back behind the bush, but it doesn't really work. So I have to just go for it. I know I can go through the side of his tank. Been spotted, so I don't really want to get hit by him. Pull back. See if I can get any shots up here. Doesn't look like it. Small shot on the E100, but I'm not really going to uh, get him at all. Now I look to see that the uh, base is still getting fairly well protected. We've got three tank, actually four tank destroyers and an E100 behind there. And so then I try and uh, get some shots into this Centurion. I bounce off his butt, don't know how. I'm sure he's only got like 50mm of armour. But he's still going, he's still going, he's still going. That was a bad shot. It probably looks a bit I only critted him or something. Oh, I see the bush moving. So it looks like he's uh, disappeared and suddenly we just killed four of their tanks. I don't know if you noticed that. So the game has suddenly swung in our favour despite being a 38 percenter. So that's why you can never believe your stats. Or you have to take them with a pinch of salt, because they might not come true. And so I really kind of just play the rest of this game fairly, fairly cautiously, to be honest, because I don't want to die. You know, I haven't had, I don't feel like I've had a brilliant game, but I feel like I've done something. You know, I've done almost 900 damage to tier 9s, 10s, well, well, 8, 9 and 10. So everything's been higher than me, and... I'm seeing if I can get sneaky shots on the WZ. Not really working out. And so I think it's time to uh, do an object 907 there and sort of get on with it. I panned for about far too long on this hill. But again, I don't have much health, so doing this was probably a stupid idea. But luckily I managed to do it fairly well. And we're just heading towards... I think I decided to cap here, just to get a few more experience, because I know I'm unlikely to survive an engagement with an E100 and Centurion 7-1. And then I see that the WZ-132 actually has the number on... Oh, yeah, Panther 2. I get a sneaky shot into his lower plate as he's retreating. Puts me over a thousand damage. Not too bad in a tier 10 game. See some more Centurion 7 1 action. See he's shooting at me, so I can shoot him a couple of times. He looks away. Let's put some more shots into him. Get some nice weak side armor. Just racking up the damage now. This gun can dish it out fairly quickly. Can we get the killing blow? Yes, we can. And that was the last tier 9. So, 1650 damage there in the end. Pretty good game, just farming up that damage at the end. How much did we do to that Centurion in the end? 780 damage in the end, so... Yeah, we quickly racked it up on him. And ended in not such a bad game for being bottom tier. But let's have a quick look at the post-game stats. So, as we can see here, this was good enough for a second-class mastery badge. We actually only did 580 assisted assistance damage, but this was 4,000 experience, but that's a bit misleading, <laughs> because that was a times three for the day, so if we look onto the next one, as we can see, we were top on experience, narrowly, be narrowly? narrowly beating the Object 907, who did, well, over three times the amount of damage we did. Actually, about three times the amount of damage we did, but obviously because I was a bottom tier tank and I still managed to do that amount of damage and a little bit of assistance, that's what put us on top. So, not bad being top on damage, um, top on experience even. As you can see, we were actually fifth on damage, so managed to beat some rather big scary tanks. Say like the T124 on our team, the E100, T62A, managed to, even the Borsig. I managed to out damage all of them in my little tier 7 in this tier 10 game. 
I'm feeling pretty proud about that. And then if we look on the very last screen, as you can see, we fired 21 shots. 21 hit. Only 12 of those penetrated though, but to be honest, a lot of the time I fire if people are rushing in. If I know I'm not going to penetrate, just to sort of try and scare them away if they're like, oh, I'm being hit, better retreat. Sometimes it works. If it doesn't, oh well. It's just a few credits that you lose, and since the ammunition is so cheap in this tank, it doesn't really matter. So as you, yeah, as you can see, we did 1,650 damage. We only spotted four enemy tanks, and like I say, I only did 580 assistance damage. But with my non-premium account, after resupplying the ammunition and the repair, we make 9,000 credits, which isn't, isn't too bad, I guess. And then, yeah, it was a 1,091 base experience. Luckily for my times 3, it was a good times 3, which gave me... 4,300 so well on my way to getting that auto loader would have taken out that centurion a bit quicker I guess and maybe I could have pumped a few more shots into the T-34 and T-125 when I was on top of the hill if we go back to the previous screen you can see that their T-125 was top on damage for them and or near top experience so might have helped taking him out a bit quicker but hey ho we won and I managed to do fairly well in my little tier 7 in this tier 10 game. So, so let me know how you're liking the M41 Walker Bulldog. I'm really liking it and I've not even upgraded it. But then I really like the, the T37 that came before this. I, I don't know why, I just seem to have really good, good matches in it. I think a lot of people's problems with light tanks is they just try and rush in far too early. I find it better to sort of try and be a passive scout to begin with. And then when tanks are sort of low enough health and distracted then go in rather than trying to go in straight away and do it but that's how I play it and it seems to work out fairly well for me but I'll leave a video there let me know what you thought about that one remember to like comment subscribe etc tell me how you think about the walker bulldog and I shall see you in the next game ciao